this summer, all eyes are on Margot Robbie as she dons the iconic Barbie shoes. But there's much more to discover about Margot beyond her incredible acting skills and flawless appearance. She's full of surprises. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Welcome to Luso Rich, where we narrate the richness of emotions through TV series and films. We're here to inspire, motivate, and entertain you. So subscribe to the channel and get ready to be amazed. Initially, Margot Robbie had plans to stay behind the camera for the most anticipated film of the summer. She started working as an executive producer, and in fact, it was she who initiated the project with Greta Gerwig. I called Greta. I thought it would be really exciting and really scary, um, because, you know, there's a lot of ways to do it wrong, but if you did it right, it could be huge. I think Greta did it right, and there was very few people I'd want to do this with, and Greta was the top of the list and kind of like if she said no, I, I, I just don't know what I would have. <laughs> Initially, Margot wasn't supposed to portray Barbie. Unbelievable, right? The decision to play Barbie was made after the entire project had been developed. Interestingly, other famous Hollywood actresses like Gal Gadot, Anne Hathaway, and even Amy Schumer were considered for the role. But ultimately, it was decided that Robbie was perfect for the role of Barbie. You might not believe it, but as a child, Margot was more of a country girl than a doll-loving princess. She revealed that she wasn't particularly passionate about Barbie dolls when she was young, and she's not even sure if she ever had one. Instead, she preferred more masculine activities like playing with toy cars and exploring nature. At just 32 years old, Margot already has an impressive number of high-profile projects under her belt. From her debuts in The Wolf of Wall Street and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood to last year's film Babylon. She's acted alongside industry giants like Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. However, the Barbie film truly marked a turning point for her, making her the highest paid actress in Hollywood. She took home a staggering $12.5 million for that role. Margot isn't afraid to share details about her diets. She loves fries and burgers, but if she's getting ready for bikini season, she indulges in carrot sticks for three days. She claims to be extremely extreme oscillating between healthy foods and less healthy ones like chocolate and chips. Sometimes, Margot even participates in food-eating competitions, like the time she devoured 4 kilograms of spaghetti bolognese in an hour. Margot's physical shape is always impeccable, and to maintain it, she is never really committed to the gym. Instead, she prefers something more dynamic, like boxing. She admitted to practicing boxing primarily to prepare for fight scenes or stunts. I have stupidly long arms, too long for my body, but they're perfect for boxing," she said, laughing. Another surprising aspect of Margot is her passion for hockey. She played hockey for years and is still a big fan of the sport. She's even attended Rangers hockey games and dressed up as players for Halloween. But what might surprise you even more is that as a child, she attended a circus school. Margot loved doing acrobatics and dreamt of soaring high among the trapeze artists. Before becoming a Hollywood superstar, Margot had to work various humble jobs to support herself, like working as a cashier in a pharmacy or restocking shelves at a grocery store. She even joked about being a sandwich artist at Subway. In short, she had to put in a lot of hard work before achieving success. During the filming of Suicide Squad, Margot developed an unusual passion, tattooing. She bought a tattoo machine and started practicing on anyone willing. Her first clients were her set colleagues. Cara Delevingne and the film's director, David Ayer, as well as herself. Even though she made some mistakes initially, she continued honing her skills, tattooing almost 100 people before stopping. From a young age, Marco was fascinated by the world of cinema and still remembers the moment she first saw her future co-star, Leonardo DiCaprio, in the movie Titanic. She was just eight years old at the time and felt truly excited, although the film left her with a tinge of sadness. Who would have thought that fate would bring these two actors together for one of Hollywood's most acclaimed films, The Wolf of Wall Street? In her audition for The Wolf of Wall Street, Margot showcased all her boldness and courage by even slapping Leonardo DiCaprio. This unique gesture surprised everyone, but caught the attention of Martin Scorsese, who convinced her to be a part of the film. Facing the first sex scene with Leonardo DiCaprio was not easy. But Margot decided to gather her courage and admitted to having three shots of tequila to relax. A bold choice to tackle such an intimate scene. Honestly, I, I know this sounds silly now, 
knowing how big the movie became. At the time, I thought, no one's going to notice me in this film. It kind of doesn't matter what I do in this film because everyone's going to be focused on Leo and everything and I'll just kind of like slip under the radar. Uh, so things like that, but I'm not going to lie, yeah, I had a couple of shots of tequila before that scene because I was very nervous. <laughs> but how did Margot become a Hollywood star? Well, she demonstrated a fervent passion for letter writing. With a touch of romanticism and perseverance, she landed her first role in Neighbors by writing a passionate letter. She did the same to secure the role of Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Her life lesson? If you want something, go and get it! Despite success and fame, Margot is incredibly frugal. She loves saving money and has never been drawn to extravagance. In fact, even after becoming a Hollywood celebrity, she lived in an apartment with roommates in London. This habit makes her feel closer to her childhood, when she grew up in a house filled with loved ones. Despite her fame and wealth, Margot prefers adventurous and wild vacations. Alongside her husband, Tom Ackerley, they often retreat to campsites or isolated places in the heart of nature. They even spent their honeymoon on a deserted island with no electricity or mirrors. The couple loves adrenaline and adventure. The love story between Margot and her husband, British director Tom Ackerley, was a long journey. They were friends for a long time, but Margot never thought she could escape the friend zone with him. However, once they became a couple, she realized their relationship made perfect sense. But what's unusual about Margot's love story? Well, there's always a third person in their bedroom. Yes, the actress's favorite childhood toy, a cuddly stuffed rabbit. Despite her husband's disdain, Margot never parts with her plush toy. Lastly, Margot is an avid fan of the magical world of Harry Potter. She loves the world of Harry Potter so much that she's probably read the books around 20 times each. Long before she became a worldwide celebrity, Margot began her career as an Australian soap opera star. In 2008, she was chosen for a guest role in the famous soap opera Neighbors and was later promoted to a regular cast member. Not bad for a start in her acting career, right? The unique look of Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad was partly inspired by the singer Debbie Harry of Blondie. Margot, being a fan of Debbie, embraced this inspiration wholeheartedly. When Debbie learned of the tribute, she sent Margot an autographed photo that she adores. Affectionately nicknamed Maggot by her friends and family since childhood, Margot's fond moniker might seem odd, but it holds a special meaning for her. Instead of shying away from it, she decided to embrace it and make it part of her unique identity. In conclusion, Margot Robbie has proven to be an exceptional, captivating, and versatile actress. Her Australian roots, determination, and innate talent have led her to achieve incredible heights in the Hollywood film industry. Her future looks more than promising, and her fans are eagerly anticipating following her extraordinary journey. With her magnetic style and unmatched talent, Margot Robbie continues to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide. We can't wait to see what the future holds. And what about you? What do you think of Margot? Do you like her as an actress? Write it in the comments! Before you go, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on upcoming content. Share the video with friends who love Margot Robbie. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you in the next video.